Alrighty guys, welcome. So we're gonna get started. We're going to learn how to record audio today. And if you don't know, first thing you want to do is find GarageBand on your dock. If it's not on your dock, go to the spotlight up here and type in GarageBand and you should see it. And you just want to click on that. Program will open. It takes a few minutes. So we'll just wait. Do, do. All right, so we are going to select a new project, and of course we are making podcasts, so make sure that's highlighted. You want to choose that. It's going to ask you to title it, title it something you'll remember. I'll call mine Podcast 1. And it's going to be saved on my desktop. Make sure you watch where it's saved so you can find it again if you need to. Hit create. It should appear on your desktop. Mine appears down here near writing equations in my song too. Alrighty. And notice it's still in a dot band file. That's fine. We'll change that later. So let's let this load. Okay, here we are. So this is GarageBand. Over here on the left, you see all of your tracks. You just want to choose one to get started. And you can change the voice. Right now it says male voice. If you want to change that, go to the lower right-hand corner. Click on this I here in a circle. Uh, real instrument should be highlighted. You want to look for vocals right here. And you have a whole list to choose from, and you can change them after you record if you want. So I'm just going to scroll here. Hmm. Let's do female rock vocals. Notice how it changes this up here. That's great. That's exactly what we want. Now, to record audio, really simple. Down here in the middle, it keeps track of time. There's the record button in red. Now, before you record, you might want to make sure your metronome is turned off. So see, metronome is right here and it's unchecked. Most of the time it's checked like it is here. And you want to just unclick it. See how it's now unchecked. So make sure that's off or you're going to hear a ticking sound and you have to re-record. So make sure that's off first. Okay, so I'll just do, I'll show you this really quick. All you do is hit the red button and it should start recording exactly right now and it's you can see the spikes in the voice as you are talking to stop recording again hit the red button all right this will keep running so you just want to hit the stop button now to go back to listen to your audio you want to hit this button right here where it has the arrow and the line it takes you back to the beginning to play your audio you can hit the space bar or you can hit the play arrow. So let's listen. Should start recording? Exactly. Right now, and it's, you can see the spikes in the voice as you are talking to stop recording. Again, hit the red button. Alright, and you can also hit the space bar to stop recording if you want to. So there was a lot of echo in that, so I'm going to want to tweak that audio a little later. I might want to change my track. Let's maybe go to basic see how now it goes back to basic. So let's see if that changes how it sounds. Should start recording, exactly. Right now, and it's, you can see the spikes in the So that's a little better. Again, how did I stop? I just hit the space bar. And you can also move this cursor with your mouse up here and down here if you want to change where you play it from, okay? Now again, when you're recording audio, you just want to record all the audio, audio you need. We can cut and paste if we need to, so you don't need to worry about recording exactly what you want because we can tweak it later. Alrighty, so that's basically recording audio one-on-one -on -one pretty quick, down and dirty. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. As always, remember to save. And that's how you can record 